I want to move slow to me, cautiously, baby, I love it like that. Welcome back to my channel for today. I have this look here using only brown colors, nude and brown. The eyeshadow is completely matte and then a glossy lip. I really am living for this look actually. Hope you guys like it. Like this video if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials because I was actually planning to only start uploading vlogs on my channel. Since my makeup tutorials are barely getting watched and my vlogs are so I think people like to see vlogs more than makeup tutorials. Maybe I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah, if you guys want to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. So, I received this whole bag from Benefit Cosmetics with so many goodies. So, I've never tried Benefit products, only the brow gel. How is that called? The Cabral? The Cabral, right? Uh, but that was a really long while back. And I think it was also in here. Yeah, the Cabral. It is so good. So I'm going to try out all these products right now. Oh my god, there are so many. Look at this. Okay, so nice. Very first thing I want to do is my brows. Precisely my brow pencil. I want to use that today. I love how this looks. Ooh, it's really nice. Okay, I love this brow pencil, it's really good. So, I was just looking on Instagram and Huda Beauty reposted me. It's just really, really cool. I was actually screaming a minute back. So, I'm going to use the Jouer uh, concealer, the new concealer. And I'm going to use that to clean up my brows and as a eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette for this eyeshadow. What did I say? This eyeshadow look. Um, okay, where will I start? Going first in with orange soda, and this is going to be my transition shadow. I'm now going to first start with the light colors and then build up to the dark colors and go deeper into my crease. This is actually the first time I'm using this concealer as a base, so I hope it works. I hope it doesn't ruin everything because i see it creases really fast and i like to uh, make circular motions and start always at the outer v i don't know why but that's just always what i do and then work my way to the inner part this look is going to be a lot of blending when you feel that in your hands, you know you're doing something right. Because you have to blend a lot. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yesterday I went to Taekwondo for the first time again since a while. And I can feel that in my whole body. Now I'm going into the color Burnt Orange. Going to do the same thing, but now uh, I'm using a little bit of a thinner blending brush. And I'm going to work a little bit more precise. And I'm doing that every time with a dark, darker color. I change with brushes, every time a smaller brush, and every time a darker color. I actually really, really recommend the Soft Glam Palette. It's really nice. Now I'm going in with Cypress Umber and with this Morphe M515 brush. It's a really tiny pencil brush. And with that, I'm going to make the cut crease line. And I'm always making the line a little bit above my actual crease because I like to have more space on my lid for the eyeshadows. This brush here, it's the Sigma Crease E47, this brush, it's really nice for cut creases. You can blend out this strong line so easy with this. I'm going in with the color Rustic. Rustic. If you're Dutch, that sounds really funny. Do Rustic. And with that color, I'm going to blend these two colors together. Until this is not a really strong line anymore.
Okay, I'm going to use the NYX cream color. Really recommend you guys these. I think there are 12 colors or more and they're just really nice with smoky eyes as just as a base. I like to use this to clean up the cut crease with white underneath the color. The color will come off so much more vibrant. So I recommend you guys this so much. I'm using my E20 brush from Sigma. It's my favorite brush. And I do have a coat on Sigma and I will have that in the description box. It's uh, my name, just Lila. So it's really important that you set everything that's on a lid because if you do not do that, it will definitely crease. So I'm first going in with this color here called Tempera and I'm going to apply that in the middle, the beginning. Now I'm going in with this color here, I'm going to blend that in the middle. Then I'm going in with burnt orange, I'm going to blend that next to that color. Then I'm going to blend this color here. Okay, I want to do this look with more colors because I love it. Okay, so what is this? This is mascara, I think. This is the Bad Gal, Bad Gal, Gal mascara. By the way, this mascara is from Benefit. Really nice. Wow. Oh, wow. I did not even curl my lashes. I'm going to apply these Morphe lashes in the style, oh yeah, seduct Seductress, Seduct Seductress, whoa, I cannot pronounce it, Seductress, Seductress, what, um, okay, so Benefit sent me three colors, I'm going to look which one is my color, wow, it's exactly my color, by the way, this foundation is called Soft Blur Foundation. Yeah, and that's exactly what it does. It's not really full coverage, but it's a soft blur. Oh my god, I love this for just on regular days. Wow. Oh my god, I forgot to apply primer. Huh? That's so weird. How can I forget that? No. So they send me the poor, the poor professional, the smoothing face primer and the soft radiance face primer. Let me know which one you guys like. I will try that the next time. I feel so dumb. I just did not apply primer. Yeah, I'm rushing actually. So I think that's why I'm forgetting stuff. But primer, come on. But then I do have to say that this foundation applies really nice even without primer. I barely see pores right now. Wow. Now I'm going to apply some concealer. This is the Jouer High Coverage Concealer. It's a really really good concealer and I really recommend you it even and it's worth the price really I'm all about cheap makeup sometimes the prices are just too high I'm like why would you ask that much for just some makeup but this one is worth the price really it's just I think you can even um, cover tattoos with this now I'm going to use Huda Beauty powder Bake powder in the color Pound Cake and this Sigma Kabuki brush, the F86, to bake. And make sure there are no creases when you're going to set it because if you do set it when there are creases, you cannot get rid of them. I'm going to use the Hula Light bronzer. Do you guys ever use these brushes that come with them? I also would like to know if you guys like them. I think it could be nice. Should I use it? I'm not sure. I'm scared to use new tools. I'm going to do it. It works actually really nice. Yeah, this brush works actually really nice that comes with it. And now I'm just going to clean up my bronzer.
Now I'm going to wipe away the bake powder. Ah, I'm rushing so hard it makes me nauseous. <laughs> Have you ever had that? I think I'm also barely talking in this video because I'm so, so focused. But still, I'm loving everything that I'm using right now. Everything that I have on my face is working for me. I'm going to use the blush, the blush kit from Anastasia and Radiant. I'm going in with this color here. Then I'm going to apply this. Oh, okay, it fell. Highlighter from Benefit. Really nice, but I think it's too bright for my skin color. I need something with a more gold undertone. I'm going to apply this Ombreezy highlighter from Anastasia. I'm just going to wet my brush. I never do this with highlighter because I'm scared that it will ruin my makeup. Nothing is really sticking on to it now. Yes. Yes. That's what I wanted. I wanted a disco ball cheek. Now I'm going to spray some All Nighter spray from Urban Decay. Yes. Okay, now I want to use the Cabral. Oh, I love this tiny brush. I want to try this without having any brow products on my brows. Now I'm going to <clears throat> go in with Cypress Umber and that a uh, tiny Morphe brush and I'm going to focus this on the outer V and then with burnt orange uh, here I'm going to blend that together I'm going to use the Huda Beauty lip contour in Flirt And then I'm going on top of that with this Wonder Kiss Lip Plumping Gloss in Key V Beauty Nude. I don't know if I uh, pronounced that right. I cannot remember when I got this, but I was really looking for a nude gloss and I cannot find it. Can you guys recommend me some really real nudes? So not too pink and not too, uh, too brown and in between. I really need that. Ah, oh, this is also nice. And that's it for this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I actually wanted to stop for a while with makeup tutorials on YouTube. I noticed that barely people watch the makeup tutorials on my channel and more people watch vlogs. And I love to do both. So I actually decided to only start uploading vlogs and then for my Instagram only makeup tutorials. But today I just wanted to film a makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys think of that. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!